Hello, welcome to EPG Paatshala. My name is Raj Kumar and I am working as Assistant Professor in Deshmandu College, University of Delhi. In this module, I am going to explain you about immune response to infectious agent fungi. The learning outcome of this module includes PRR and their role in fungal infection, C-type lactin receptors, dactin 1 receptor, dactin 2 receptor, toll-like receptor, DC sign and their role in fungal infection, role of collectins, role of anode-like receptors, role of scavenger receptors, role of adaptive immunity in fungal infection, T cell role in adaptive immunity, Th1 cell and its role, Th2 cells and its role, Th17 cell and its role, Freck cells and its role in fungal infection, dendritic cells and its role in fungal immunity, resistance and tolerance in fungal infection and in the last we are going to discuss antifungal vaccines. The following module explains how fungal infections are overcome by innate and adaptive immune responses against them. The difference in type of immune responses in innate and adaptive immunity. The mechanism involved in innate and adaptive immune response against the fungal infection. How important is the innate immunity in fungal infection? Various mechanism involving resistance and tolerance to fungal infection. Recent approach in the design of fungal vaccines. Immune response to fungi activates both branches of immune system, but innate branch of immune system plays a crucial and major role in elimination of fungi infection from the body. In fungal infection, pumps associated with fungi plays a vital role. These pumps are identified by pattern recognition receptors present on myeloid and epithelial cells thus act as first line of defense in respiratory burst, phagocytosis and release of antimicrobial compound and also release of chlorines with other inflammatory lipids. PRR are also found to be involved in initiating adaptive immune response. Target molecule of PRR includes mannan modification found on cell wall protein and beta 13 glucan as a carbohydrate on fungal cell wall. There are various form of PRR involved in immune response to fungi like scavenger and complement receptor families, C-type lactin, node-like receptors and toll-like receptors. PRR and their role in fungal infection. C-type lactin receptors. CLR includes soluble and transmembrane protein. CLR have a carbohydrate recognition domain CR, CCRD that is also known as C-type lactin domain. The name of C-type lactin is derived from its requirement of calcium binding. But now there are CLRs that does not require calcium binding. 
CLR bind to large number of fungal species that infect human vertebrate humans and other vertebrates which includes fumigates, cosidiodis, histoplasma and C. albicans. SRC family signal transduction kinase SYK is linked directly or indirectly via coupling mechanism to various type of CLR. This signal transduction leads to activation of NAFAT MAP kinase via protein kinase C delta CRD9 BC110 multi axis, nuclear factor kappa B, dectin, dec dendritic cell associated C type lectin receptor 1. Dectin has been identified initially as a dendritic cell receptor without any known function. Later on, dectin 1 has been identified as potent PRR against fungal beta glucan carbohydrate. Natural killer cells possess gene responsible for production of dectin 1 receptors and are present in NKL gene cluster, now known as dectin 1 cluster. Dectin contains a HAMI item domain commonly known as immune receptor tyrosine based activation motif item at the cytoplasmic tail. This item domain is responsible for phosphorylation and provision of docking site for signal transduction kinase. Dectin 1 is a binding site for carbohydrate present in the cell wall of fungi known as beta 1 3 glucans. Cell belonging to myeloid lineages possesses dectin 1 receptors like dendritic cells, macrophages, monocytes and neutrophils. It is also located on T cells and YST cells. Dectin 1 activation leads to respiratory burst, release of inflammatory lipids and cytokines, phagocytosis of phagocytosis, naive CD4 cells are activated due to dectin 1 signaling and leads to Th1 oblique Th17 type effector cell response. At mucosal surface, this is crucial for protection against fungi and mediated by Th17 role. Dectin 2. Dectin 2 has a high affinity for fungal alpha menins that is found on the cell wall of fungi. They are also considered to be specific for alpha menins. The cytoplasmic tail of Dectin 2 lacks the item domain, but it is coupled to FC receptor gamma and leads to activation of protein kinase C delta CRD9 BC110 multi axis. Gene responsible for dectin 2 is found in the NKC cluster of genes adjacent to dectin 1 cluster. Toll like receptors, the role toll like receptors are considered as best identified and studied family of PRR and contains a TIR in the cytoplasmic tail end. Toll interleukin 1 receptor domain, MyD88 and TRIP are adapter molecule that binds to TIR domain. TLR are single membrane spanning molecule, upon binding to a target it get homo or heterodimerized and lead to activation of MyD88 and TRIF pathways. The product, product, the products capable of binding to TLR include lipoproteins, flagellins, glycolipids, double stranded RNA and bacterial lipopolysaccharide. Following TLRs are involved in fungal recognition TLR1, TLR2, TLR4, 6, 7 and 9. 
TLR9 recognize the fungal DNA, TR, TLR2 recognize phospholipone and TLR4 recognize the N or O link glycans. MyD88 deletion can lead to fungal infection with large number of species involved in it. DC sign, dendritic cell specific intracellular adhesion molecule 3 grabbing non integrin receptor. DC sign has been discovered in human genome as a cluster of genes that encode DC dendritic cell receptors related to 3 members of same type. They are found on skin and mucosa and some macrophages also exhibit DC sign receptors. DC sign contain manan binding ET EPN motif, DC sign identify and bind to mannose and fructose linkage in fungal surface. It causes phagocytosis of fungi and cytokine production. Role of collectins. Collectins are soluble lactins that include surfactant proteins A and D, SPA and SPD and mannose binding lactin known as MBL1 and MBL2. SPA and SPD and MBL bind to mannose and terminal mannan present on fungi and also bind to large number of other fungi like H capsulatum, C albicans, A fumigatus and B dermatitis. Surfactant plays an important role in reducing the surface tension, but there also plays an important role in immunity against the fungal infection by generating oxidative burst by macrophages and phagocytosis of fungal particles. MBL binds to antigen antibody complex and followed by their clearance by lectin pathway of complement activation due to MASP, mannose binding associated serine protease activity. Role of NOD like receptors. NOD nucleotide oligomerization domain like receptors called as NLR plays an important role in apoptosis and inflammation by formation of complex known as inflammasomes due to activation of pro interleukin 1b and pro 12 n 18. The overall activation and formation of inflammasome lead to development of Th1 and Th17 response. NLR receptors like NLRP3, NLRC4 and their adapters are involved in immune response to fungi. In candida infection, both NLR are required, but its spread is controlled by NLRP3 in mucosal infection. Role of scavenger receptors. Scavenger receptors bind to fungal beta glucan and lead to recognition of fungal infection. The scavenger receptors CD36 and SCARF1 have been reported to mediate fungal uptake by cell wall recognition. Example beta glucans and manans. This has been predicted by Brown in 2011. In host resistance to fungal infection, macrophage cells play important role and fungal infection recognition by macrophages triggers intracellular killing, phagocytosis, initiation of adaptive immunity and induction of inflammatory cytokines and chemokines. 
we still need to find out the signaling pathway triggered by fungal pathogens that regulates antifungal immunity and all of the receptors that mediate binding and engulfment of fungal pathogen. The C elegant receptors for example, CED1 and C03F1, F11.3 and their mammalian orthologs the scavenger receptors for example, SCARF1 and CD36 mediate host defense against the fungal pathogen Cryptococcus neoformans. SCRF1 and CD36 facilitates toe like receptor 2 signaling by functioning as co-receptors and by binding and engulfing fungal pathogens. It has been predicted by Beans in 2010. Role of adaptive immunity in fungal infection. T cell role in adaptive immunity. The innate immune system in higher organism is connected to adaptive immune response and is capable of differentiating various fungal morphotypes. On the long run immune system allows some microorganisms to coexist in the host body to have their commensal property share with host and keep a check on the infectivity. Stimulation of DC, macrophage and epithelial cell leads to activation of TS cell related antifungal response to fungi. T cell response to fungi have flexibility due to enormous heterogeny by CD4 plus and CD8 plus T cells. Once a T cell recognizes the antigen, it causes the release of cytokines, mostly interleukin 17, oblique interleukin 22, tumor necrosis factor, gamma and interferon gamma, which are capable of recruitment and mobilization of antifungal effectors. Th1 cells and its role. A prominent immune response to fungi is caused by activation of Th1 cells via interleukin 12, production of interferon gamma and opsonizing antibody is based on activity of Th1 cells that promotes phagocytosis at site of infection. Fungal infection by Aspergillus fumigatus induce a strong Th1 response which has been proved by studying human peripheral blood mononuclear cell and a system of system consisting of monocyte derived macrophages with the lymphocytes. It has been predicted by Chain et al. in 2010. Th2 cells and its role. The fungal infection acquired through respiratory tract are responsible for prolongation of infection and shift the response of immune system from Th1 to Th2. In this case, two cytokines IL-3 and IL-4 play a major role and initiate the signal for commitment of naive cells to Th2 type cell lineage. Th2 response can increase the airway resistance, therefore it enhances the severity of infection and lead to fungus related allergic reaction. The allergic reaction in the case of most fungi are highly pathogenic. TH17 cells and its role. TH17 cells provide an important protection against extracellular pathogens, but the activation of TH17 cell lineage of TH cell leads to various allergic and pathological condition like autoimmunity. TH17 activation occurs in fungal infection via spleen tyrosine kinase caspase recruitment domain that contains a protein 9, SYKCRD9. 
MIDE88 and MANOS receptors and lead to production of interleukin 17, interleukin 17F and interleukin 22 in signaling pathway involving DC and macrophages. TH17 cells can be classified into two groups pathogenic and non-pathogenic based on their ability to produce GM CSF or interleukin 10 respectively. TH17 cell secrete interleukin 22 that plays a crucial role in controlling fungal growth at non-muscle and mucosal site in both candidiasis and aspergillosis along with other molecule like interleukin 23 oblique defensin. Drug cells and its role in fungal infection. The main role of immune system in our body is to limit and eliminate the pathogen at a cost that will restore host fitness and homeostasis of cell responsible for eliminating the inflammation caused due to fungal infection. It decreases the damage caused to host cell on one hand and on other hand it promotes the fungal persistence. Natural drug cells are present even in absence of any infection, but other are induced due to infection and are called inducible drugs or eye drugs. Natural drug cells control inflammation caused by neutrophils and eye drug cells control activity of 2H cells that leads to fungal allergy. Dendritic cells are responsible for analyzing and identifying the antigen present in the environment and thus present them to T cells for further action via secreting various cytokines. Dendritic cells are responsible for presenting the antigenic peptide to T cells via their MSC molecule. Thus, they are responsible for priming of these cells. The primed T cells can lead to response in the form of Th1, Th2 and Th17 cells. Dendritic cells have a very good learning of identifying large number of fungus associated antigens and convert this recognition to specific T cell response against them. This ability of dendritic cell is usually known as its functional plasticity that occurs only due to ability of dendritic cells to identify large number of fungi on discriminative, discriminative basis and their morphotypes by full range of pattern recognition receptors. Plasma, plasma cytoid on one of the substrate, subsets of DC plays a crucial role in fungal infection. Plasma cytoid DC are the first to be enlisted for combat at mucosal surface against fungal infection. DC induces a potent cytotoxic CD8 plus T cell response via toll like receptor 3 activity. Resistance and tolerance in fungal infection. Resistance in immune response relies on the ability of immune system to decrease the burden of infection via various mechanism. Tolerance lead to lowering the resistance because even when there is no prominent damage to tissue, resistance can lead to decline the normal function of tissue thus cause immunopathology. Therefore, a good response depends upon balance of immune clearance and amount of accept acceptable immune pathology. In some cases, it is the immune response that is 
more threatening than the normal infection. Therefore, a balance is required in immune response. On one hand, T regulatory cells limit the inflammation associated harmful effect and on the other hand Th1 and Th17 cells play a crucial role in resistance. The absence of Th1 and Th17 can lead to fungal infection. Indole aminic 2,3 deoxygenase 1 IDO1 plays important role in the form of an enzyme to balance the immune response by providing adequate protection and preventing tissue damage due to fungal infection. IDO1 can cause differentiation of Treg cells and inhibition of Th1-17 cells. Antifungal vaccines. A successful vaccination depends upon activation of both branch of immune system, cell mediated branch and humoral branch of immune system. And by establishing a pathogen specific immune memory that result in long term protection, vaccine development using attenuated strain of fungi depends upon their PRR and the adapter involving downstream signaling of their signal transduction. For example, Th1 induced vaccine protection depends on TRIF adapter in case of A fumigators, Th17 based vaccine depends upon MyD88 in case of B dermatitis and C posadasi. The success of fungal vaccine depends upon following factor, route of antigen processing and presentation, route of antigen delivery and precise characteristics and nature of antigen. Now we are going to summarize the module. There are there have been new and significant insight into the mechanism involved in immune response to fungal infection. The cause of fungal infection is due to decline in efficiency of phagocytic cells and antifungal effector mechanisms. Host resistance to fungal infection is initiated due to macrophage and DC interaction. Most of the signaling pathway and receptors involved in response to fungal pathogen regulate macrophage inflammatory responses. Novel strategies for immunotherapy, vaccination and antifungal drug will de be developed by better understanding of the mechanism involving both host and fungal pathogen. With this, I am ending up this module. Thank you.